Hello everyone, welcome to Rob John Spirits. I'm back again. Today we're doing a 16 ounce tool glass, putting this frost free freezer for 20 minutes. Today we're doing a 16 ounce can. Also put that 16 ounce can also in the frost free freezer. Alright, today we're doing, I've done this brewery before but not this particular kind of beer here. Okay, here we go. Sonoma Springs. From Sonoma Springs Brewing from Sonoma, California, up north. Outer Space Canoe Race Hazy Dippa. And Dippa stands for double IPA, right? Now, the ABV is uh, 8.1 ABV, alcohol by volume. The IBUs are national beer units. 33, I, like I said before, 33 IBUs, international beer units. Canned on date is. There's no canned on date, so I might take a point off it, so it's my choice. I'm the beer reviewer, I get to do that, all right? I have my special perks here, all right? Now, the hops are Citra, Cascade, and Galaxy. Notes are pineapple, grapefruit, and tangerine, all right? Now, let's open up this can and see what we got, all right? That's there. I'd just like to show the can there. It's a very unique can here, all right? Now let's pop this baby open and see what we got. Like I said, this is beer review number two sixty. Uh, yeah, two beer video number two sixty eight. Right. Let's just pour it into the glass. Okay, pouring a little aggressively here. I may not be able to get it all in the can. Uh, sorry, all in the glass there, but I'll give it my best shot. All right. Again, this is a double IPA, all right? Not a single, a double. All right. Pouring it slowly here, because uh, I'm going to try to get most of the beer in this glass as much as I can, all right? I may not be able to get into it. Uh, we'll see in a few moments here, all right? It's a little so slowly here. I'll stop overhead here. I tried my best here. We'll put the remaining of the uh, beer into the glass here from the can when I have more room, all right? We have about a finger ahead here. And it's unfiltered. You can not see through it there, so I'm not going to bother looking through it here, all right? Now, make first toast of the day here. Cheers, everyone, and enjoy. Double thumbs up. Another double thumbs up. Excellent, outstanding. Nice, hazy dipper. All right. Now, let's show the bubbles here. All right. Took it to angle there because I got too much sun there. Anyway, let's try this, try this uh, again here. I'm going to lower down my drapes here behind my monitor there. I rely on all the uh, sunlight behind the monitor there, that's all I have for sunlight here. Let's try it again here. All right. Okay. Let's try again here, shall we? There we go. Bubbles go out there. So what you're looking for in a nice double IPA. I should say hazy double IPA. Dipper. All right. Foam stuck in the glass, it's called lacing there. Like I said before in my past videos, the better the, better the uh, better lacing, the better the beer. All right. Now, I mentioned the uh, the hops and the, and the tasting notes. Um, I could not locate anywhere for the malts for this particular beer. I looked all over the, on the internet there. I could not find it there. So, please, no one, uh, don't bitch at me because I couldn't find it. I tried my best, all right? Give me a break. All right now, the uh, let's uh, do the tasting notes here and see what I mentioned here before. Taste of pineapple and lots of grapefruit. So you can taste it one more time and see what else could taste here. All right.
And I do believe I taste a little bit of tangerine in there. All right. Anyway. So, anything else going on here? Yes. Time is 3.59 p.m. 3.30, 2019. Saturday. Late afternoon, I suppose. All right, make the first toast of the day here, shall we? Toast to Tim Goippinger. He's a master brewer of the Sonoma Springs Brewing out there in Sonoma, California. Tim, you make wonderful hazy dippers. Keep up the good work there. And maybe someday I'll meet you up there, I hope. Things go right there, all right? Again, cheers, Tim. And enjoy. And Tim, sip it. Tim, I give you a double thumbs up. Anything else going on here? Yes. Let's, uh, let's pour the remaining beer out of this can here into a glass, shall we? There we go. A few less drops. It's hard to get last drops out of it, out of a over a bottle. A can is much more difficult to get the drops out. Get the last drops. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Do it. Here we go. Perfect pour. Got about half of half a finger ahead here remaining here. It's still unfiltered. You not cannot see through there. You got nice, beautiful lacing in the side glass there. That's what you're looking for there. By the way, uh. The IBUs, the 50 IBUs or more, it's worth trying again there because it usually, is, if it's under 50 IBUs, it's not very tasty beer there. But it's my opinion. Of course, that's your opinion too. It's also my choice and your choice. All right. Anyway, anything else going on here? Yes. Uh, recommend this beer here. I'd buy this beer again here. And let's do the ratings here, shall we? Uh, before I do the ratings here, I no longer go through Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, or Untapped. I do my ratings there. Then we get more views, more subscriptions, and more comments, good or bad. All right? Now, let's uh, taste this here and make sure I make my uh, right decision here, uh, my rating here. And since it's got the... Uh, ABV, I'll call by volume, and it has the IBUs and our national beer units. Uh, let's tip it again and make sure. I give this, on my honest opinion, I give this baby a B. Plus. It's my final decision, a B, plus, and that's it. All right? It could be a. Uh, could have more hops in it there. I usually like more hops in my beer, in my uh, double IPAs, or higher. All right? It has three hops here. I like to have at least, see at least maybe five to about maybe ten hops. Of course, that's my hop decision. It's a new phrase. It's my hop decision. All right? Anyway, anything else going on here? Yes. I believe frosting glass over chilling glass, the beer will stay cold longer in a frosted glass, 20 to 30 minutes longer. Of course, that's my choice, and so is your choice. Anyway, now, should I sip it, or should I chug it? This time, it's my choice. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to chug it! Ugh. Double thumbs up. Another double thumbs up. Not too bad. Pretty uh, pretty cool beer there. Double IPA, you should see. Double IPA. Internet. All right. Anyway. Definitely taste the uh, little aftertaste there. You can definitely taste the, uh, the tangerine and the grapefruit there. And also the pineapple. All right. No missing that before, but I can do what I say because I'm the beer reviewer. All right. Now, anything else going on here? Yes. You want to buy a, a single 16 ounce can. Uh, you can pick it up at Total Wine on Buzz Creek Avenue down the street from Pleasant Bart. 
ask for April Anderson. She's the assistant manager there. Tell him, tell her that uh, ask her ask her for her. Tell him that Rob Johns from Rob Johns Beer Reviews from YouTube sent you there, and she'll hook you up there. If she's not there, ask for Jake, the salesperson there. He'll he'll hook you up also there, all right? And now, uh, if we pick up a four pack of these babies here, four pack, six ounce cans, uh, seventeen ninety nine for this, all right? Round it off, eighteen bucks. Divided that by four comes about four fifty each. That's a bargain and a half, or what? Uh, usually the bars, uh, the bars when you go in the tap there in the tap room there in the bars or over there, usually they charge you maybe maybe five maybe to about eight dollars or so there for a single uh, sixteen ounce uh, can from the tap. Anyway, I think it's a really great deal there in itself. There, enough said there for that. All right. Um, Anything else going on here? Uh, yes. Let's uh, also mention the. Uh, oh, if you don't have to, uh, if you don't have a total wine out there in Pleasant Hill, you don't have to go to Pleasant Hill Total Wine to pick up this beer here. Just call up there and check to see. I'm sure you guys are in girls and ladies have a, a a total wine there close to your house there, your your house or your apartment there, whatever there. Just call up and see if they have it. If not, they can order it for you there, all right? Anyway, uh, anything else going on here? Yes. I'll make a toast to Mark Cabral. He works at the Apple Incorporated there in Fremont there. He also lives in Fremont there. My new Facebook friend there. I mentioned you a couple times, Mark. I'm going to mention you again there, all right? All right. Cheers, Mark. And enjoy. And Mark, sip it. Mark, I give you a double thumbs up and another double thumbs up. All right. Anything else going on here? Uh, I got beer review number 269, 270, and 271 in the fridge. Whenever I decide to do those three beers here, it's my choice. So, uh, whenever I feel like doing it, whenever I feel like doing it, whenever I have spare time, it's my choice too. All right. I guess I'll be heading out here, I guess, here. I know I got one more thing to say. I think I got an important thing to say here. Uh, I now have 18,600 views. And my super overall goal is 20K, AK known as 20,000 views. So I'm only about 1,400 views short, right? And I now have 132 subscriptions. And my uh, new... Overall goal for subscriptions is 1,000. I need a minimum of 1,000 subscriptions and also a minimum of 4,000 hours uh, for uh, to get paid from YouTube there, all right? And I have to have it 12 months previously the year before. Anyway, didn't get it last year, but maybe this year I'll maybe get it for the following year. Anyway, wish me luck. Keep my fingers crossed there, all right? Now, anything else going on here? Uh, yes, it's, uh, I'm going to think of drink the rest of this beer here out in the porch here. It's such a nice day out here in Pleasant Hill. It's about 75 degrees, about 77 degrees out there, out here. So I'm doing my, all my beer videos here. All right. Uh, you know what magic words are in all my videos? Specials, screw-ups, top 10 videos, beer mail samples. Tongue tied talking and tons and tons of mistakes when I'm doing my videos. Time for Fasa Cohen. Double hands. Out. Don't forget to sip it. And sometimes check it. It's your choice and it's also my choice. Bye bye. See you on the flip side. And you know what my new favorite phrase is. And. That's it. <laughs>